Hey everybody, welcome back to Mrs. Rattlecan's house. I am James and we are almost live. I've had a couple of questions on what almost live means. Um, I don't have the bandwidth or more importantly, I just don't have the, the stable connection in this house, partly because of location, partly because of the wire mesh in our plaster walls, which makes a lovely Faraday cage. Um, to support a screaming signal from the phone. So I record it and then I upload it um, as soon as I'm done recording it. Uh, anyways, here is your impromptu Saturday morning weekly review because the computer is still down. Uh, we're very fortunate that we have a friend of the channel um, who happens to be in our local area and is somewhat a computer god who uh, has uh, made the offer to come and, and give us some help hopefully this weekend. Um, but we'll, we'll see. Until then, we're just gonna limp along. I'm trying to get a, a basic video editor going on a very old Windows XP laptop running uh, three gig of RAM, which is a little different than my Windows 10 system running 64 gig of RAM. <clears throat> so, we're going to do the best we can. Anyways, what we've been doing and what is going on um, in the bedrooms, uh, specifically we're working on in the bedrooms, if you take out our granite seal, this is what you have. And if I put my hand here, there is a pretty decent amount of air moving in. I don't know if you can see that little particle wiggling back and forth. It's wiggling back and forth like that because of air intrusion. So these, in particular the ones in the bedroom, uh, they were sagging down. There was a gap in between the windowsill and um, uh, the, the casing portion of the window. So we've removed them, discovered that they were held on there with construction adhesive, which is not exactly easy to get off. So I appealed to you and uh, basically it came back that, yeah, you debulk it mechanically and then you take it off with a type of solvent and that's what we're doing. Uh, this one has been done for the most part. Um, so we're doing that. Let's take you over to... Actually, I can show you we're doing this as well, where um, we have uh, in some rooms more than others, multiple layers of paint that have not adhered to the plaster very well because the plaster is super, super, super smooth. So we're going through scraping that away um, and then we're feathering that in and we're filling that in and then we'll sand it and we'll fill it a little bit more, um, you know. Uh, repeat ad nauseum. Uh, here is a window that is yet undisturbed, as you can see right there, uh, which may or may not focus. Thank you. Uh, that is a bead, not of caulking, you know, nice, pliable, easily, easy to remove um, caulk, but that is construction adhesive. So we end up taking a, um, I've moved away from the chisel and gone to a, uh, uh, gone to a, a scraper, a stiff uh, edged paint scraper, and we're kind of removing that off. Each one of these window sills has a, a two piece, uh, it's two pieces, and we'll see if I can. I haven't even really done anything to that, and these are nice and loose, so. That part will be uh, taken off slowly. This is one of those projects that while you're waiting for something to dry or while you are you know, kind of in between processes, uh, you come in and you scrape and you do a little bit. And so it's not like you sit down, you do all the window sills in a day. Uh, other projects you don't do in a day, we continue to fill in um, this area. I've taken the wall anchors that were previously uh, in there, uh, I've taken that out. We're con uh, continuing to fill those, sand them, you know, trying to get it nice and smooth. So this is rattle can can have a pretty wall with which we're going to hold a mirror onto. Uh, I've replaced the bulbs 
in uh, these two light fixtures. When we got here, they were all, I'm not kidding you guys, they were 100 watt filament bulbs. So in one of those, that's 500 watts. And oh, by the way, there's two of them. So we had some of the 60 watt equivalent LEDs and it was like staring into the sun. So we, we've now uh, gone down to the 40 watt equivalent bulbs and um, I, I think that's where we're gonna stay. Um, just out of curiosity, let's see if I can find one. I got old man eyes, so I gotta get close. 5.5 watts a piece. So we've gone down from 500 watts to, you know, nothing. Because, well, math is hard. Um, so that's what's going on in there. Um, here is a very nice example of this gap that I'm talking about. I can almost put my pinky finger in there. And even with this window sill in there, there is air intrusion. So I, I'm guessing it's just the weight that has made it, um, that has taken care of that over the years and just made those sag. So once we get those cleaned up, um, I'm not exactly sure what the better approach is. If we take there, because there is a, there's a, a piece of molding underneath it. So I don't know if we take that piece of molding up or if we just shim it beneath and then caulk that in or fill that in with like a, you know, a wood fillet. Um, I don't know. Uh, we haven't gotten that far yet. You can also see how um, the gap is not consistent across the entire window. You'll notice what the gap is over there and then as you come in over towards this window, it tightens up. And then as you come back over here towards the end again, it starts to, it starts to open up again. So that's, that's those. So now we'll wander in through here. And we will get into the fun that is going on today, which is we're going to finish up putting the tile in the laundry room and the tiny bathroom. The, the section you see in the middle, I've already laid that, and that's actually had a couple of days to dry. Um, so now we're going to do the edges. Uh, and I have gone through, and you can see the piles, piles of tiles, I'm a poet and don't know it. <laughs> um, I've gone ahead and I've cut all of those tiles out. Uh, with the exception of right underneath that, uh, that baseboard. So those, um, I haven't pre-cut them out, but these are actually scraps left over. And so what we'll do is we'll, we'll ply those under there and, and then we'll just fill those in because that's a pretty consistent space and that's going to be easy to do. Now, I have a wonderful neighbor who... As we were talking about tiling and stuff, he goes, well, I got a tile saw. I was like, oh, okay. So he brings me over this monster. Um, because he's been working with like really big, full size, you know, double width kind of tiles. Um, and I said, yeah, I tried it with a, I tried it with a grinding wheel uh, with an angle grinder and it was just chewing up the, the tiles um, and it was leaving all these nice black marks. Come on, baby, focus. There we go. Leaving these nice black marks because, of course, I had the wrong, had the wrong wheel on it. What I had was just a standard cutting wheel. And since he had pulled his truck up in the driveway, he goes, well, here, try this. So this is a, you know, what you should be cutting tile with. A nice diamond-coated wheel. And believe it or not, I didn't even use... Uh, the big yellow mother over there because it was just so easy to use this to cut these out um, with minimal damage. So 
you know, what I was, I was thinking just the tile cutting thing was going to take me like an entire day. I was done in like an hour and a half. Uh, getting all of that tile pre-cut and that's because I move kind of slow because I'm an old fart Anyways, that is what's going on in the garage today. We're going to finish This tile and then we're either going to go and Open up the garage at the other house and do some some work on the bandsaw for the guitar channel or I might go down and yell and scream at the broken computer or try to set up the new computer. I haven't quite decided yet. Anyways, that is uh, what's going on and has gone on this past week here at Mrs. Rattlecan's house. Um, if you are a subscriber, uh, I appreciate you being here. If you are new to the channel, I appreciate you being here. Uh, be sure to follow us on Facebook because Facebook is where you will get the most timely and uh, uh, almost real time what's going on during the day uh, because it's right in my hip pocket and I'll post a, uh, a real quick photo, let you know what's going on uh, as opposed to the weekly updates which you have to wait, well, a week for, hence the name. Anyways, uh, this is Mrs. Rattlecan's house. I am James. You guys have a great one. Cheers.